Alrighty guys, uh, this video is to go through how to do an ANOVA in Excel. Um, you can see that we're now in the reaction time data Excel sheet. Um, so this is data that we collected during the week one meter, strip, meter stick drop experiment. Um, and you can find this under the discussion seven module on Canvas. Um, this video is for how to do an ANOVA in Excel for PC. Um, and this should also work if you have Excel 2016 for Mac or if you have a really old version um, of Excel for your Mac before 2008. Um, if you have Excel 2008 or Excel 2011 for Mac, uh, you need to instead download a third-party software to do an ANOVA in Excel, and we will do a separate video to show you how to do that. Um, but for um, this video, we are going to show you how to do this um, on a PC. So first thing on a PC is we need to actually insert the data analysis add-in. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to File, go to Options, click on Add-ins, uh, Highlight Analysis Tool Pack, Press the Go button. Make sure that the Analysis tool, tool Pack is checked. And press OK. And then it was already here for me. Um, but if it wasn't already there for you, uh, you can now see, you should now see that the data analysis, there's a data analysis um, tab and button under your data tab in Excel. Um, if you have Excel for Mac 2016, uh, I think it's a different way to insert the add-on. I think you need to go to Tools and Add-ins. Um, don't quote me on that, though. So if you have Excel 2016 and you're having a hard time trying to insert the add-in, just contact your GTF or TA, and they can help you out. So um, to do an ANOVA in Excel, now that we have this data analysis add-in, it's really, really simple. Um, we don't need to compute anything uh, ahead of time in order to compute the ANOVA. All we have to do is click on this data analysis button and we're going to do a single factor ANOVA. Press OK. And then it already knows for me where I want to select the data. Um, I'm going to exit out of that for a second. Um, so assuming you get a blank input range, you're going to need to select the data that you want to compare. And when you're doing an ANOVA uh, using this data analysis add-on, uh, the only thing is that your groups or conditions uh, the data needs to be separated into adjacent columns or adjacent rows. Um, in this case, we have our three conditions and adjacent columns. Um, so we're already good to go there. We can press this red and blue button. Uh, you can select the, uh, the condition title at the top. And then again, just select all your data. Press this button again. It's going to ask, how is your data grouped? Is it by columns or rows? We're grouping it by columns. Uh, make sure this button is checked that says labels in first row, since we selected the first row with the data labels. Uh, and then make sure your alpha is set to 0.05 for this test. And then lastly, uh, Excel asks, do you want to output the data in a new range of cells in this worksheet? Do you want to output a new worksheet? Or do you want to create a whole new workbook with this ANOVA output? The default should be a new worksheet, that's just fine. Um, and then all we need to do is press OK. And we get our ANOVA output. And there's a lot of data here, you don't need all of it. Um, here the count just says how many data points are in each group. We have the average and the variance for both groups here. Uh, and then down in our ANOVA table, the value you're most concerned about here is your p-value. Don't worry about anything here. Um, your F and your F crit are similar to your um, critical value and your test statistic. Um, but again, don't worry about that. Um, all we want you to know for this ANOVA is the p-value. Um, in this case, the p-value is 0 0.16. Um, remember, we set our alpha to 0 0.05. So because our p-value is greater than our alpha, uh, there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So there's not enough evidence, evidence to say that there's a difference between the visual, auditory, and tactile conditions. So for your homework, I'm going to do one ANOVA 
Uh, again, for my classes, I use this reaction time data during discussions, so you cannot use this. Um, and all you need to report are your means and standard deviations for both groups, your p-value, um, your hypothesis, null and alternative, and then your conclusion. And then underneath all that, you also need to just copy and paste this, this ANOVA output. just want to see that you actually did the ANOVA um, in Excel. So that is the output that you want to copy and paste. And there is, if you're wondering how to format that, there is a sample um, lab assignment on, um, on Canvas you guys can refer to.